Autonomous Intersection Management, Traffic Control for the Future, a project from the University of Texas at Austin. Most intersections today are controlled by traffic signals, stop signs, or roundabouts. However, even when people do follow these protocols, intersections are the source of much traffic congestion and many accidents. Even though they take up a small percentage of the roadways, roughly one quarter of all accidents and one third of all fatal accidents occur at intersections. It is now apparent that autonomous cars are well on their way to becoming a reality. At first, they will need to follow the same intersection control protocols that were designed for people. But this project considers, once most cars on the road are autonomous, whether we can do better than that by way of an AI-based coordination mechanism. In this research, we introduce a new multi-agent intersection control scheme specifically designed for autonomous vehicles. By utilizing much more of the intersection at any given time than traffic signals and stop signs, the AIM Reservation Protocol has the potential to dramatically reduce congestion and therefore fuel usage. By eliminating the need for a lot of deceleration and acceleration, harmful emissions can be dramatically reduced as well. AIM relies on Dedicated Short-Range Communication, or DSRC, to allow autonomous cars to communicate with a server at the intersection called the Intersection Manager. Conceptually, the Intersection Manager and each car is an autonomous agent in a multi-agent system. One technical challenge of the research is to design a communication protocol between the agents that both ensures that cars can get through the intersection quickly and, most importantly, guarantees that there will be no collisions as long as there are no mechanical failures and the cars follow the protocol. The intersection manager calculates the car's proposed trajectory based on the expected driver agent behavior and compares it to a reservation table storing past requests. As long as all the space time a car needs for its path is unclaimed, the intersection manager guarantees its safe passage through the intersection at the proposed time. It is the car's responsibility to arrive at the appointed time and velocity. If a reservation is denied, the car must slow down and request a later reservation. This basic scheme has now been expanded to deal gracefully with a mix of autonomous and human drivers and to use vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication at low traffic intersections. Our initial research on AIM was conducted entirely in simulation. A common reaction upon first view is that it looks too scary or that it would never work on real cars. We therefore set out to test AIM on a real autonomous car. Our autonomous car Marvin was initially designed for the DARPA Grand Challenge and Urban Challenge in cooperation with Austin Robot Technology. This clip shows it navigating a conventional intersection controlled by a stop sign at the Urban Challenge. We use Marvin now to test whether AIM can work in the real world. Specifically, in order to configure AIM to leave sufficient space between vehicles, we need to know how precisely autonomous cars can be expected to predict their arrival times at intersections. This portion of the video shows how we can test AIM with just one autonomous vehicle in a mixed reality setup. Looking from the outside, you wouldn't know why the car is stopping or proceeding through the intersection. However, by looking at the screen, you can follow when Marvin has a reservation to proceed. Here you see a grid of intersections controlled by AIM. We have recently made the simulation code open source so that other researchers can build upon our results. It is available from the project website. 